Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. This is a Bloom and Grow card, and I rather like it. I love the stamp set, Bloom and Grow. Absolutely gorgeous. I've done it in a couple of cards. Um, and I love the fact that it comes with a set of dies, Budding Blooms it's called, and they are gorgeous. So you can stamp these images and then die cut them. And I just love it. And so the card I'm making today, I wanted to, it to be all about the shapes and the flowers so that's why it's on black and then you know me you know I like to do something a little bit different so I'm going this time with Blackberry Bliss so all I've done is I've taken a sheet of cardstock I've cut it in half and folded it in half to get my card blank and then my layer over the top is half a centimetre shorter and narrower which is you'd make it maybe a quarter of an inch shorter and narrower and look at the sun it's streaking i have blinds and um that's the holes where the pulley system comes through and i can't do anything about it because it's there as well i can't even move so yeah blackberry bliss this time and then that's the bit that's left over that i will punch my uh, circle out of so I need to put that to one side and I'm going to put that to one side as well and come straight in with the stamping and this is heat embossed. So I've got my Versamark, my embossing buddy, my white uh, embossed powder and my heat gun over here. So the first thing I want to do is gently take the embossing buddy across there. If you do it too hard, I'm going to do it on the inside. If you go that's the mess you get and no matter what you do you cannot shift it great for a chalkboard effect not so good when you want to, when that's not what you're aiming for okay so photopolymer so you can see through it all and i'm going to i'm going to go with this one this time actually so the first one i went with this shape at least i think or maybe it was that shape i'm going to go with this one this time around so i want a nice big long block there we go this is an eye block and my really grubby one I do have two Versamark ink pads I have a clean one and then I have this one <laughs> so I go roughly there and about I kind of want them to join up, but it's not essential if they don't. There we go. So hopefully you can see that. There we go. It's rather nice, shiny. Ooh, maybe I should have done it with clear embossing powder. Anyway, scrap bit of cardstock so I can tip my white onto it. I left my fingerprints clearly so I'm just gonna get a brush so I can get rid of that excess and I'm looking to see where they are just off camera there we go so a little paintbrush just to take excess powder off what you don't want to do is flick it really hard because you end up flicking all the embossing powder off the Versamark. There we go. So I'm going to heat this up now. So if you've got your volume up loud, turn it down. And I just want to warm it on my hand a bit first. And I don't know how I can tip this when you can see it, but it goes from a very powdery look to suddenly molten and it gets very shiny so you can just see it coming now you just you need to keep your heat gun moving so it doesn't scorch the paper I hope this is going to look pretty on black this no idea
There we go. So that's done. I'm just going to set that over there. I'm going to grab in some Whisper White. And I'm going to do... Um, I don't know which flowers. Hmm. These ones, I think. That's those ones. Yep. That's the one. And I'm going to stamp it once. And then actually what I'm going to do is then cut it. Um, cut it in half. So where's my memento? Because I'm going to use blends. Um, but I'm not going to blend with them. So like I showed last week in a card, that actually blends are very good for colouring in. You don't have to use them exclusively for blending. Brilliant. So all these lovely die cut shapes. Oh, that was a good guess. It's that one. <laughs> right. So... all up brilliant that's coming out put that away don't put it down put it away and Oh, I've just dropped that bit of white on the floor. And actually, I don't think that's going to be big enough. There we go. I need a bigger piece of white because I want to stamp. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, and what I'm going to do, I'm looking for... I've got my two-inch circle. And there's my two and a quarter. It was right next to it. So I want to get the layers. And I want to... This one won't fit inside. So this one that says, let's celebrate you. And I don't want to do more die cutting. I just want to do that. So I just want to do punching on this one. But I know that that will fit in there. Oh, let's just throw everything around. Two inch circle. And then this, let me just double check which is my layer. Oh, yeah, because I've die cut, I've heat embossed. So this is the spare bit of leftover. And those will just sit together. So. Pop those off to one side. And then I've got my blends out already. So I've gone for dark rich razzleberry. Dark Highland Heather, Dark Knight of Navy, Dark Shaded Spruce, and Dark Daffodil Delight. So, and although I'm going to cut this in the middle, I'm still going to colour it in. And like I say, I'm not using these as blends. I'm using them as colouring pens, essentially. And Memento won't bleed with them. So I can be quite, well, certainly this bit in the middle. It's not going to get seen anyway. Got another flower over here. Shall I go, I think I'll go blue. Oh, that's too dark, I don't like that, but you know. Although I think I probably have to finish that flower off now. I want the lighter one. A light night of navy, yes, that's better. So these four petal flowers, I'll do all of those in the light night of navy on both sides.
And like I say, blends, you don't have to do all the arty blend thing, although it is so much fun to it, do it, do it. Um, I gave some blends away recently as a um, thank you for your patience gift to some lovely ladies who'd waited very, very patiently. And loads of them came back and said, oh, my goodness, they're amazing. Um, I might put those as a customer thank you gift one month. Ooh, there's an idea. I always um, send lots of treats and goodies out as my thank you gifts. And, um, I ch you know, I change it up every month. I use the hostess code and gift away with that, but I also send a product thank you gift as well. Um, so my lovely shoppers get a bag full of stuff. They get a thank you card. They get a private newsletter that only goes to them. So it's exclusively for them. Um, yeah, thank you card that they can use themselves. Um, newsletter. What else? Um, nice little thank you gift. If they've used the hostess code, they get one of those as well. All sorts. Oh, I've got a couple there I've got to fill in. And yeah, the thank you gift varies from month to month. Sometimes I do a stamp set, sometimes I do. I did an embossing folder recently. But yeah, blends. Ooh, those would be good. I do love them though. I adore colouring. Um, it's something I've always done. I can remember going to hospital as a six-year-old with a colouring book, but it was one of those geometric ones. Got my tonsils out. And I just spent an age colouring in. Right, there we go. That's done. So I'm going to literally hack it in half. Because I'm brutal like that. And then I want to layer these up. And I need to get this layered down first so that I know it fits. Um, and I'm putting a lot of snail on because there's a slight curl in the cardstock where I did the heat and thing. it to stick out too far so that's about there look you see I'm not even going to see that rich razzleberry one at all am I oh well not to worry there we go it's not sticking out too far and then to finish it off dimensionals on all the bits so onto the white flower bits too into the middle. I think that's lovely. How cute. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.